American thriller written in 2005 was initially rejected by publishers because it was too unrealistic. The topic was a global pandemic. In fact, the book is called Lockdown. Flash forward 15 years, and that book is getting a second look. The novel by Peter May paints a strikingly familiar picture, similar to what's going on now. Empty streets and landmarks around the world as a virus forces people to quarantine in their homes. Screenwriter, novelist, and author of Lockdown, Peter May, joins me now live from France via Skype. So I was telling our viewers, uh, Peter May, your book was once rejected by publishers. They told you this is too far-fetched. That's right, yes. Um, I wrote it in 2005, and the literary establishment in London deemed that it was too dystopian and completely unrealistic, that nobody would believe that a major Western capital city could be completely locked down by a virus. And so it was rejected universally. Um, I, I, in fact, I had forgotten all about it. Uh, it had lain in a drawer for 15 years. That's interesting, because if I had ever written a book, I can, I can assure you I would never have forgotten that I'd actually written a book. You must, be, you must write a lot. I know you do, in fact. How did, how did you get the idea for it, for this? Because it's from 2005. That's right. Yeah, the, um, scientific opinion at that point believed that the next major world epidemic would be, or pandemic, would be bird flu or avian flu, H5N1. Um, and I, I had done a lot of research for a previous book about the Spanish flu virus. And so I was quite uh, up to date on all this. But I read up about bird flu um, and it was terrifying. I mean, it was really terrifying. It, it, it's not as infectious as the coronavirus uh, in that perhaps only 25% of the population would become infected, but its mortality rate is yeah. through the roof. I mean, it's six, 60 to 80% mortality rate. So I, um, I looked at the pandemic preparedness plans of the, both the UK and the US governments in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. um, and they had, they had planned in detail for something like this. Um, and so I was able to delve into that and see exactly how uh, a city like London would look like if it was locked down so completely. Yeah, and how, so the book uh, was published um, and it's available to, to purchase. Has it, has it been successful? I mean, are you getting a lot of interest uh, for it, and there we're showing, by the way, the cover of it, Peter May Lockdown. Um, how, how, what response have you been getting? A phenomenal response. I mean, the, the book is, uh, has only just appeared in uh, ebook format uh, in both sides of the Atlantic. Uh, it will come out in paperback at the end of this month in the UK and I think mid June in the US. Um, but the interest in it has been extraordinary. Um, and I, I have had literally thousands of readers writing to me uh, saying either they, they, they're desperate to read it or that they have read it. Um, and, and the response to it is uh, unusual in, in the sense that, that people, strangely enough, seem to take comfort in it um, because it's something that is reflecting the reality that they're living through now as opposed to the the old reality, what we used to live through, that now seems kind of lost and a bit alien to us. Um, so it, it's, it's had quite an extraordinary reaction. And how do the characters in the book then deal with the self-quarantine? And how did you put yourself in the position of somebody going through a lockdown that seemed unimaginable 15 years ago, but that's our daily reality now? Well, the, the, uh, the central character is a police officer who's investigating, uh, believe it or not, a murder in the midst of all this uh, death from the virus. Uh, the, a murder has been uncovered and he's investigating that. So we're seeing the world through his eyes, London through his eyes, through a very concentrated 24-hour period where he's tr investigating this murder and trying to track down the killer. And so w we discover what it's like for him um, and he, he also suffers a personal tragedy in the course of that, that 24 hours uh, uh, as a result of the virus. Um, and he, he teams up with a, a health expert who is in the process of trying to track down the virus. Um, and, and so we get a very 
clear picture of how the world is and how people are responding to it at that point. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thanks uh, very much, Peter Navy author of Lockdown, a screenwriter, and, and author of many uh, other books, joining us uh, from France. We really appreciate having you on the program. We, Thank you. Uh